Okay, here we have question number four from um, practice paper C for the P2 paper for the international A-level. Um, we've give, given an equation, a function f of x equals 2x cubed minus 13x squared plus 8x plus 48. We've got to prove that x minus 4 is a factor of f of x. So this is using the factor theorem. So basically, if we substitute into f of x, the value of x that makes this bracket zero, okay, then f of x will equal zero because if it's a factor, there'll be no remainder when you substitute it in, okay? So basically, um, what makes x minus four zero? Well, that's when x equals four. So I have to substitute four into this function and what should come out is zero, okay? Okay, that's if x minus four is a factor. So let's see if that's true. So when it says prove, you have to kind of uh, not just show steps without any reasoning. So f4 equals zero if x, e x minus four is a factor, is a factor of fx. Okay, so we're given a reason for you know our proof. So now we're gonna put four into this function and see what happens. So we have two times four cubed minus 13 times four squared plus eight times four plus 48 so that's 2 times 64 which is 128 minus 13 times 16 which is 208 plus 8 times 4 which is 32 plus 48 so this is going to be um, that's 128 plus this is 70 80 128 plus 80 is 208 minus 208 equals zero. So we say yes, therefore, as f4 equals zero, x minus four is a factor of fx. Just write it neater than I did. Okay, so that's the proof. The proof should have a statement that shows, that you know, explains what we, you know, the reasoning behind our our proof. You don't just put f4 equals zero and leave it at that. You have to have some explanation, especially when it says proof. Okay, so for part b, hence using algebra show that the equation fx equals zero um, has only two distinct roots. So basically what we know is x minus four is a factor of this. So we want to basically show that if you factorize it fully, you will only end up with two distinct roots when you try to solve the equation. So we have to factorize it fully, basically. So to factorize it fully, one method we could use is long division. So we know that x minus four is one factor. So I can write x minus four and set up my long division. I've got here two x cubed. So you've got two x cubed minus 13 x squared plus eight. There's nothing missing, so I can just write them straight down. Minus 13 x squared plus eight x plus 48. Remember, if there's something missing, for example, if there's no x squared term, I wouldn't be able to just put 2x cubed plus 8x. I'd have to put 0x squared. But here, there's no problem. Everything is fine. Okay, now we can do the long division. So x into 2x cubed goes 2x times. Then we multiply 2x by this. It gives you 2x cubed. Sorry, 2x squared times. x into 2x cubed is 2x squared times. 2x times x is 2x cubed. 2x squared times minus 4 is minus 8x squared. And I've got to subtract these two. And when I subtract, this becomes 0. And this is thir minus 13 plus 8, which is minus 5x squared. Bring down the next term, which is plus 8x. Okay, so um, x times minus 5x gives me minus 5x squared. So I'll write minus 5x here. Minus 5x times x is minus 5x squared and minus 5x times minus 4 is plus 20x. So when I subtract these two lines, I'm going to have a 0 here. I have 8 minus 20, which is minus 12x. Bring down the next term, which is 48. Then I'll say x times minus 12 gives me minus 12x. So I write minus 12 here and then I multiply this out and hopefully they should be no remainder. So minus 12 times x is minus 12x. That's okay. And minus 12 times minus 4 is plus positive 48. Yes. So when I subtract these, I get 0. 
that shows that this is also a factor and we have factorized it so f of x can be written as x minus 4 times um, 2x squared minus 5x minus 12 okay and basically if there are two distinct roots then that means that's one root x equals 4 and here that means um, there should be one root from these two so maybe we're going to have a repeated root let's have a look so let's try to factorize 2x squared minus 5x minus 12 and see what we're going to get from from that okay let's try and factorize that and see what happens because if there's two roots one root must be from here so this this should be able to be factorized there should be a solution for this but one of the if there's only two roots for the whole thing i suspect that that one of the factors is x minus 4 let's just see you've got 2x squared you've got minus 12 okay so the two numbers multiply to give you minus 24x squared and when you add them you get minus 5x so all the ways of getting 24 you've got 24 1 12 times 2 you got 8 times 3 8 times 3 so you have minus 8x squared 8x and plus 3x that gives me minus 5 when I add them and it gives you minus 24x squared when you multiply them these these you know windows the diagonals must multiply to give you the same product and these two must add up to give you that middle term okay so now let's take out the common factor here from these two terms that's just going to be x and from these two terms up here that's going to be 2 and x then i write down here what i have to multiply x by to give me this window x times plus 3 gives me 3x and 2x times minus 4 gives me minus 8x so now we have the factors here so you have 2x minus 3 and as i su suspected the other factor 2x plus 3 the other the other factor is x minus 4 so fully factorized okay f of x is actually equal to x minus 4 times x minus 4 which is x minus 4 squared times 2x plus 3 okay so it says show that the equation has only two distinct roots so therefore x minus 4 or x equals 4 is a repeated root it's a repeated root and the other one is x equals minus 3 over 2 okay is a root okay therefore two distinct roots two distinct roots okay two set different roots so that's how we can prove that because x minus x equals 4 would be a repeated root and x equals minus 3 over 2 is going to be a distinct root of its own so therefore there's two distinct roots in all together okay so that's um part b let's go to part c part c it says uh figure two shows a sketch of a part of the curve with the equation y equals fx which i've written here deduce giving reasons for your answer the number of real roots of the equation 2x cubed minus 13x squared plus 8x plus 46 okay now let's compare these two with each other okay let me just unlock this okay now when i compare this whoops with that okay you can see that they're almost the same except for this part here this is the difference okay this part is the difference let me use a highlighter so i don't go over the sign the difference is, is in this part so what's happened if you compare these two equations um, is that this has this is going to be two units lower it's like it's like f of x whoops it's like f of x minus two all right so um the new curve the the new equation the new equation okay is f of x minus two so if this drops two spaces if this drops two spaces down then the turning point is going to be down here somewhere this is going to be at minus two so this is x equals four so it's going to go down to here so the curve is going to cut it into two in two 
one, two, three places. There'll be another place over here because this is also going to be cutting through the x-axis. So as the new okay um, equation is a transformation of 0 minus 2 of fx okay the the turning point the minimum point which is 4 0 okay will drop two places therefore the curve will cut the x-axis in three distinct distinct places so places therefore three real three real routes